Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Heartland Gateway 3200 RLS. This is a rear living fifth wheel. It's one of Heartland's higher end fifth wheels. It definitely has some nicer amenities in it and we'll take a look at some of those as we go around. One of the things you will notice right away though is this rear living floor plan has dual opposing slides helping to open up this main living area which also allows to have the uh, the island right here in the center of the kitchen and it is a very large island as well and it gives you the theater seating directly across from the TV with a sofa in the back. If we move over to the campsite slide you will see the freestanding table and chairs here. The table does have a leaf in it just pulls out and pops up that way you can easily sit for people. Uh, I, I prefer a freestanding table and chairs, especially in a higher end RV, just because it looks a lot nicer and it gives you more room and flexibility. You'll notice the windows have MCD blackout shades. Uh, so the, the nice thing about the black colored shades, they do an excellent job of keeping the sun out if you want to sleep in during the day. Uh, personally, however, I, I prefer the beige ones just because when it is nighttime, it, they feel a little bit lighter and airier. But they are great shades. MCD is an excellent name brand. Uh, they work very, very well. You will see the LED lights going across the top as well as the accent lights up here too. So not, not only do you have the actual light, but just some secondary light. You will kind of see that as we go throughout the camper here. As I mentioned, this one has theater seating directly across from the TV. Thomas Paine collection, extremely comfortable. I like the fabric choice on here. It is kind of like a, a, a vinyl of sorts but it has almost a, a cloth pattern, kind of, I mean, kind of similar to my shoes, but uh, I, I do like the color palette they chose. Great thing about this one is if you have shore power, you have all the controls built into the, uh, cup, the cup holder right here, you will see that you have a light, as well as power open and close. You'll see massage and heat. So not only can you kick back and relax that massage, it also has the heat to help you know, get some of those knots out. And I really like the power open and close because I've seen a lot of people, especially if they're a little bit older, if they've had knee surgery, where you know closing it can be kind of tough. Having the power makes it super simple. Right in between is a spot for your remotes as well as a nice armrest there. And along the back wall, as I mentioned previously, is the sofa. So this is a tri-fold sofa. Not only is it comfortable to sit on, but it's also fairly comfortable to sleep on. It's a lot better than your traditional pullout or an air mattress that deflates on you in the middle of the night. This is actually, you know, the thickness of the cushion that your guests will get to sleep on. And you will see the big rear picture window, which lets in a ton of natural light. And if you have a nice view out the back, you can really enjoy that. Storage all the way across the top, more lighting as well as the accent lighting up top. And speaking of accent lighting, you can see the accent lighting right here in the slide fascias. You'll have that on both sides. Uh, I do want to mention that on the sides of the sofa are, is, is your electrical outlets as well as USB ports on both sides with the nightstand there. And as I previously mentioned, across from the theater seating is the entertainment center. So. Uh, we'll start right down below. You will notice the fireplace right there, which is wonderful because not only does it look great, but it's also a space heater. Multimedia center right up above that. Uh, that is a DVD player, is, and it is Bluetooth capable, so that way you can control the music via your phone. Storage on the sides. Big 50-inch TV right above that. More storage above that as well. Moving in a little bit further, you get into the kitchen area. You will see the beautiful solid surface countertops with a matching backsplash. The backsplash does have a little pattern cut into it there too. Uh, you will see that you have a covered cooktop, so that way all this can be usable prep space. This glass cover just folds up and back like so. Opening up the three burners, you will notice that this one also has the upgraded grill. When we drop that down, you see the oven. There's plenty of space there if you want to do some baking. Three large drawers next to that, the bottom one being deeper than the top two. And over to this side here, some additional storage there, perfect for pots and pans. You have an electrical outlet there if you need to plug anything in. And you'll see additional storage up top as well as the large microwave. So if you, you know, need to warm up a burrito or some pizza or something, that gives you the ability to do it. So one of the things I talked about in the very beginning of the video was the size of the island. And I really do love the large islands because you have a ton of prep space here as well as a sink top cover so you can utilize this too. And honestly, this is where most people want to prep their food. 
It has a high rise pull out faucet. If we take the sink covers off here, you can see the large undermount single bowl stainless steel sink. Plenty of room for some of your bigger pots and pans. And if we drop down underneath, again, this one has auxiliary lighting. You can see you have a bank of three drawers. And again, that bottom one is quite deep. And underneath the sink itself, you also have storage space for a trash can, which for me is a big deal because I hate having to put a trash can, you know, hanging it on knobs. There's electrical outlets on the island as well. And you have these beautiful lights right up above it, kind of like these LED, almost uh, fake Edison looking bulbs, which are pretty cool. Uh, while we're up on the ceiling, a couple other things. You will notice the uh, AC unit there and a little bit back further than that is a ceiling fan. So that way it'll help recirculate some air. <clears throat> Finishing out the kitchen is your hair fridge freezer combo. This is a residential refrigerator. So that way it cools down nice and quickly. You don't have to, you know, turn it on the night before or anything like that. You can turn it on the morning of, load everything up. It'll be nice and cool in a couple hours. And then you have two freezer compartments right down underneath. Over to this side, we'll open this up. You can see you have uh, some space here. I actually like this. It's kind of like a tall pantry space, kind of like a broom closet. It gives you a spot to put your vacuum, your brooms, your mops. You know, a lot of times you want to take those things with you and you don't have a space to put it. In this one you do. And then uh, main control panel right here. Storage all the way throughout the rest of it. I'll kind of open it up to show you an idea of the storage. It actually is pretty good storage. Uh, it gives you just a ton of pantry space all throughout here. As we make our way back a little bit, we will, or forward rather, we'll come up the steps. If we move into the bathroom, so you'll see this one has a pivot door, so that way you can enter the bathroom from either side, whether you're coming from the bedroom or from the main living area. And when I take a step in here, you'll see beautiful solid surface countertops in the bathroom. The, the bowl uh, has a little light around it, which I like, you know, nice little accent there. You'll notice the electrical outlet if you need to plug anything in. Mirrored medicine cabinet up top. Of course, storage underneath. And when the door is shut, I have plenty of room for my shoulders. Plenty of leg space here as well. You'll notice the linen closet over to the side. Some towel hooks right up above, or technically the robe hooks, but you know, probably where you'd hang your towel. And then you have a shelf along the top as well as a cubby hole right over there. Now I will stand in the shower just to give you an idea of the shower space. So I am six foot tall. As you can see, I have plenty of room here. If you're six four, you can still shower in here without having to bend down. And you know, even without the skylight, I still have space, but the skylight takes up pretty much the whole usable shower because otherwise you're right into this wall and the seat is right back here. The nice thing about the seat is if you want to sit and shower, of course you can, but also for shaving your legs, it makes it easier to put your leg right up there. Plenty of shelves in here for your soap and shampoo too. As we move up into the bedroom, you'll see the slide out queen bed there, plenty of room. You also have some storage underneath and that is strut supported. You'll see your central vac down there as well as your two additional chairs for your freestanding table out in the dining area. Both sides of the bed have USB ports to charge your cellular devices at night. Big wardrobe going all the way across the front. All the doors have mirrored fronts on them. Right over to this side here, again, more storage. You can see this is a big open storage area, perfect spot for a laundry basket. Your TV is here over to this side. So what you do is you open up this side compartment and you can actually pull the TV all the way out. So that way, if you wanna watch TV at night, you can. And then you just tuck it away during the day. Uh, a couple other things I wanna mention. One on the ceiling, this one has a second AC in here to keep things nice and cool at night. At the foot of the bed is a window as well as a dresser with plenty of drawer space. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the Gateway 3200 RLS. We'll start off right on the gorgeous front cap. You'll see it did an excellent job with the color scheme this year. The paint is just beautiful colors, very popular colors are using with today's trucks. You'll see the silver, blue, and black in there. You also notice the LED light strip there going across the top. When we drop down underneath, you'll see a number of things in this front compartment. One is you have a little convenient spot in which you can store your detachable uh, power cord. I know it may not seem like a big deal, but you know it's just one other thing the manufacturer added, so that way you have a dedicated spot for it. Over to this side, you'll see your battery disconnects there, as well as the battery box itself. 
You will also see the pure sine wave inverter. That will be for your residential refrigerator inside. Uh, for your hydraulic jacks, right there is the basin. And right outside is solar prep connection. So if you want solar, just buy portable panels, plug it in right there, you're good to go. And your auto level controller is right up here. If you need a reference on how it works, you will see that right on the inside of that door. And again, basically you push a button, it levels your coach out in a couple minutes. Take a look at the outside on the, uh, the, the camp side here, you will see the power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go back in with an LED light strip underneath. Couple outside speakers, these are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but as I mentioned, it is Bluetooth capable. We'll open up the side compartment to show you one of two 30 pound propane tanks. You can also see the hydraulic jack right there. I always like when a coach puts hydraulic jacks in, you know, I, I know a lot of manufacturers are going to electric and sure they work great, but you know, if you're comparing strengths, hydro hydraulic jacks just can't be beat. Uh, as far as the storage door, I'll talk about this real quick too. Of course, you have a covered hinge, which you'd expect on a fifth wheel of this caliber. Also, slam latch baggage doors, and they're metal, they're, uh, metal components, not plastic. Nice heavy door, actually shuts the way that it should. And you will see it's magnetic, so you can put it all the way up there. It's not hanging out, you know, it's going to be a, a head knocker when you walk by. TV connections right here couple lights in there. Other than that, folks, you can see it is just massive storage. Uh, you know, a lot bigger than you see in many fifth wheels. You will see your electrical outlet here. But the reason you get such big storage is actually right down here, folks. This one utilizes drop frame construction. So you have your standard I-beam, then it actually drops down and runs the I-beam right down here. And it still gives you excellent structural integrity and a much larger garage storage. So why don't all manufacturers do it? Because it costs more money. So it has to be a higher end RV enabled to, uh, to be able to put that in. For your main entrance, you have the more ride step above step system. It's extremely sturdy. You can see you know, I'm over 200 pounds. I can walk up and down here. The thing hardly flexes. You have aluminum steps on there. So that way those don't rust out. Grip tape for when it's wet and a grab handle for some uh, added protection or added control rather when entering the coach. If we take a look underneath the slide, you will notice the aluminum alloy wheels. Those are great because they're going to stay looking gorgeous. They don't rust on you. And right in between is the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system, which helps take a lot of the uh, you know, unevenness and potholes out of the road, giving you an overall smoother tow experience. Right behind the slide is your BAL tire carrier. That way if you need to access your spare, you can drop it down and pull it out. Makes it much easier to get to than having to crawl underneath the fifth wheel. Over to the side here is your propane quick connect. So if you want to hook up a grill or anything outside, you can do that. Square tubular bumper with end caps for a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. And then the ladder, which is mounted on the back so you don't have to bring one with you. That way you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. You'll also see right up top backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. Right around the side here is where your 50 amp power cord we saw up front will plug in at. In the convenience center, you will see your cable inlets and your outside shower with hot and cold water access there. Everything for your water system underneath, including tank fill, city fill, you'll also notice your uh, winterization there, so that way you can pump glycol through. If you do that, make sure you use the water heater bypass so you're not putting glycol in the water heater. Black tank flush to wash out your black tank. All your valves are located here because this one is insulated. It has a fully uh, insulated and heated underbelly so you can camp in some colder climates. You also see uh, another inlet right over to this side here as well as your electrical outlet and then light right up top. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Heartland Gateway 3200 RLS. If you're interested in this fifth wheel and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.